I mentioned on the opener today, we're all into nonprofit groups here in the North Texas area. And from time to time, we get to have one of them roll right in here with us. Normally, they get to come through studio, not normal times these days, but guess what? They're still out there. They're still doing great things for their clients. And we're honored to have one of them in studio with us today via the magic world of Zoom. So she's about to zoom in right now, Lauren Patrick, with Helping Restore Ability, based right here in Arlington, Texas. Lauren, welcome aboard. So good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank you. Thank you. So for the people that don't know, you're the development director there and the marketing director with HRA, as we like to call it, Helping Restore Ability. But even prior to coming on board here, you have a background with nonprofits, a passion, if you will. Is that true? It is, yes. I've been working with nonprofits my whole career. Uh, I started in a university setting uh, doing work with the university out in Denver. Uh, then I worked for a boys and girls home in Virginia uh, before moving home to Arlington and uh, working with Helping Restore Ability. So it's been a great time. I just have a passion for you know, feeling like I did something at the end of the day and knowing that there's people who are better off because of the work that we're doing. Well, we'll get into it later. I'm a little bit familiar myself with HRA, and I'm very familiar with Lauren Patrick. And I have to say, you do a great job with the group, and you're the first to say, too, it's not just you. So we'll get that out here on the table right now. But for people, well, thank you. people who aren't familiar with helping restorability, what is your mission? What does you guys do? Who are you helping? Yeah, so we have been in Arlington for 43 years, and our mission is to make sure that people with disabilities have a chance to be happy, healthy, and safe in the place that they want to be, uh, which is their own home. Uh, you hear very few people that want to live in a nursing home or an institutional facility. So if they want to stay home, we're going to help them do that. And we do that through working with attendants, personal care attendants and caregivers that go into their homes and help them with their daily activities of living. So getting out of bed, brushing their teeth, getting dressed, making their meals, uh, anything that they need to live a happy and healthy life at home, uh, that's what we're there to provide. Uh, we mostly do non-medical care, but we do also do medical care as well if they need assistance uh, with any kind of health-related issues. Well, like you mentioned, you've been around now for over 40 years, but just here in the last year, you've experienced a great deal of growth there at HRA, haven't you? We have, yeah. The last year, 18 months, uh, we've seen a tremendous amount of growth. Just in the last year, we've had 247 new clients uh, that have come on board, and we've hired over 620 new caregivers that are providing that care. Uh, we provide care around the whole state of Texas, uh, with most of our care being here in the North Texas region. Uh, but yeah, people are needing the care that we're providing, and we're providing it at a top level. Uh, agencies like ours in Texas are closing. People aren't able to sustain the care that they're giving. And so we're taking on a lot of those clients who have been left uh, without care when their agency closes. So that's been a lot of our growth have been people transferring to the agency in order to get the care that they need to live their lives every day. Well, all, all the clients who have been blessed enough to go to work with you guys, to have you as part of their team and actually as part of their families, if you will. It's a whole family thing. I know the relationships yeah. that get developed there. They're all blessed to have you, as we all are, to uh, take care of the people out there who really, really need your help. Now then, let's get to this. COVID-19 going on right now. You have people out in the field going in and out of houses. How has that impacted you guys and how have you been able to maintain the services that you provide? Uh, it's impacted us the same uh, as it's impacted a lot of people. Uh, everyone is nervous and scared, but we have clients that need our help. Uh, now more than ever, the safest place for them to be is at home and out of hospitals, out of ERs, uh, out of urgent care facilities. And the way that we can do that is by having trained quality attendants in their home, recognizing uh, early warning signs that something may be going on and getting them in-home medical care. So our attendants have gotten extra training on COVID-19. Our attendants have been given extra personal protective equipment and extra screening tools to work with the families that they're caring for. And they are, they're part of these people's families. They're in their homes daily, caring for their loved ones. And 
when all of this happened, we had so many attendants say, I'm still going, I'm still caring for this person. And it's really been amazing to see them step up uh, with the support that the agency has provided them and giving these people care and making sure that they're safe in their homes and not being exposed to this virus. You know, in a lot of ways, the HRA attendants are doing the same thing they've always done, but they've just stepped it up a notch these days to make sure that everything is done safely, done in the manner it needs to be, but most importantly, to make sure that they're taking care of your clients the way that they always have. So I, I, I know that you're funded in a variety of ways, but one of the big things that goes on every year that I'm a little bit familiar with, you have a pretty cool event there to raise some money, hurrah. Hurrah is the name of the event. So many nonprofit groups here in the area, springtime's a big time to have events such as yours. A lot of them had to reschedule because you can't have gatherings anymore. You guys made the decision, a very impressive decision, to continue on. And on Friday, May 1st, Hoorah will go on, but just a little bit differently. So let us know about Hoorah and specifically what you're doing this year that's a little bit different. Yeah, Hurrah has been such a great event. This will be our fourth year doing it in this format. We have one fundraising event a year, and that event raises funds for us to include new clients in the services that we provide and to provide the attendants with that extra training that is so important. And so Hurrah has been growing. Uh, this year we were expecting over 400 people uh, to attend. And when all of this happened, we said that we don't have time to put this on hold. We need these clients and these attendants to have the funds necessary to be able to do their jobs and stay safe. So we have gone virtual. The event will be live streamed on Facebook, YouTube, and on our website so that people can tune in, uh, hear some amazing stories. And this has actually given us an opportunity to bring the viewers into the homes of some of our clients they're live streaming with us. They're gonna be sharing their stories. They're gonna be introducing you to uh, their kids, their attendants, their families, and getting a glimpse into what their lives are like every day and how Helping Restorability changes their lives and how Helping Restorability has allowed them to live their lives. Uh, and so that's gonna be a really fun event. We're gonna have a silent auction uh, we're going to have some hot ticket items that are going, uh, and we're just going to get together on May 1st uh, via streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and the website, and just have fun. Uh, it's going to be more exciting, so you can do it from your couch in your pajamas. So we would <laughs> welcome anyone and everyone to join us that night and just celebrate the work that's being done and the lives of these people. Well, we have the website here on the screen, as, as maybe you can see, but I know our viewers can see. And they can go through this website to the link to register for the event. And just registering for the event, no cost to register for the event. You don't have to buy a ticket to go to this event. You register for the event, and immediately you'll be able to access on your phone all the auction items, whether it's the, uh, the hot ticket item, the, the live auction items, if you will, but the wonderful silent auction packages that you have. Or if you just want to make a donation, you can hit the button and donate. And you're exactly right. It's a lot less hassle than a lot of other events. All the events in the years past have been fun, but this year you can enjoy the event from the comfort of your own living room, eating your own food, drinking your own drinks. You don't have to get all dolled up. You just get there and you support. But most importantly, share this link with everybody. This isn't a private event. We want everybody to know about Hurrah this year. Everyone needs to see this link here on the screen. And uh, I, I know you're gonna knock it out of the park on this thing. This group has been around for over 40 years. Hoorah, this is year four. The momentum is built and bless you and everybody there, Lauren, for keeping the dream alive for everybody to go on with your event on Friday, May 1st. So folks, if you're looking at this right now, look on the screen and register. Lauren, you got 10 seconds. One more thing we need to know about Hoorah, go. Hoorah is gonna be great. We have great auction items. We have great opportunities. Watch, listen, and learn more about our clients and the work that we're doing. There you go, folks. Watch, learn, and listen. Friday, May 1st, hurrah, supporting Helping Restorability. Lauren Patrick, thank you so much for all you do. We look forward to seeing you next time here on All In.